so guys you know right now it's already a beginning of a new phase in life in all of our lives because after the COVID-19 period you know that, that peak period everything was just upside down people were having difficulties and then now things are gradually falling in place especially in the UAE and there is a whole lot coming up now new people are being put in jobs everyone's excited to start working again it's so awesome so recently I've been having um, requests from my new teachers those who are getting into the early years sector you know so some of them have been called to come and do a demonstration and they cannot do anything they don't know what to do they are they are lost they are they are overwhelmed they are they are worried don't worry your girls got you guys covered today so guys make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the notification bell as well so that you can always get new videos anytime we upload them like share and subscribe to our channels make sure you leave a comment at the section comment section below hello everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is noella taba and this is little knowledge dream by noella so guys our topic for today is how to nail a demonstration session in the early years sector you know that is that if you go to a nursery and they want to they're really looking for employment if you've done the interview and you're good they're going to say okay you guys are going to go for a demonstration so you're supposed to know what to do well let me tell you guys what the demonstration is all about before i begin a demonstration is a situation whereby you as a teacher is supposed to come to class and do a semi-class you just come into class with students in it and they expect you to do something sometimes you don't have students but you have maybe your manager and other staff they want to see what you can do they ask you to imagine that you are in a classroom setting and you have students in front of you what can you do many teachers get lost at this point and they are blabbing they are fidgeting they are confused i got you covered girls be ready to listen down so if you're called into a class for demonstration imagine you're already outside the class that you're supposed to do the demonstration in what you do is when you walk in how you're supposed to pose is very important be straight head up high be bold be bold and whatever you do put it at the back of your mind that you cannot lose this chance for anything in the world secondly make sure that you listen and act at the same time that's actually the best ability for classroom management why do i say so because if you are in a classroom with students and you know that these children always want to run around you have a lot they are they are young and restless and they fidget a lot so what do you do whenever you are in class and there are children making noise some fidgeting some walking up and down some pinching their friends some playing you know they they have a free mind that they want to look at everything they want to just move all over once you have that experience while you are teaching do you stop teaching the children do you stop saying what you're you're saying do you stop uh carrying out your drills or whatever activity you're doing at that point just because you want to tell them to sit down you want to bring them in order no at the same time that you're singing your a b c d e f g and john is removing his hand out of his shirt and sticking it into his body you need to be singing and helping john to remove it out you don't knock their head you don't scream at them please teach us we lost our patience at this point but we would, we are not supposed to do that you know i remember my first experience when i got into the class for demonstration i was oh <laughs> i hate to be proud but i was excited for me that day because while outside i didn't have so much idea on how to do a demonstration that day so what i did was when i got there i asked my fellow teachers that were there how does classroom management look like to you 
and they were telling me it's nothing you don't need to stress yourself I just play with the children if you play with them they would like you <laughs> yeah I love to play and laugh it's part of me guys so what did I do when I got into the door I shouted hi children there was one girl I'll never forget this girl Jana she was so excited to see me because of the way I acted and that that's actually a child that plays a lot so you click at that moment the child got up from her seat ran towards me hi and I said hi how are you what's your name and she said my name is Jana I said uh -huh got you there i took jana by the hand and i was so excited i said jana come we're gonna sing together okay but first let me tell my friends my name hello friends my name is noella you can call me miss ella so today we're gonna try to sing together are you ready and they were all shouting yeah so you imagine that spirit you're coming there you're ready for them you have to i always say it on my channel you have to bring yourself to the children's level you don't want to come and act big and macho who is not Everyone is. But when it comes to children, if you want to get them to that, that place where you want to bring them to, if you want them to learn, if you want them to be happy, you need to go to their world. And their world is playful, crazy, adventurous, and fun. What do you do? Act that way. So guys, it's easy, it's simple. Just do that. When you get into class, be fun, be fine, uh, interact, play with them. At the same time you're playing or you're teaching them make sure you're putting them in order without having to change your mood because they will test you you will sit in class and you are teaching and a child is running up and down he's pulling seats and throwing it especially those ones that are aggressive or they're just looking for they're just uh looking for attention what of those ones that have tantrums they are going to start crying i want mommy what do you do carry them play sing and continue i had to at some point carry a child on my hand while i'm teaching and to tell you the truth that's the best experience i have that's why i'm so soft when it comes to children at some point in time in your life you are so impatient but once you're a teacher in the earlier sector and you know how to handle children you got it right so guys if you think you have any more ideas on what you really think your demonstration can be like please just leave it in the comment section below and please guys make sure you subscribe to my channel um i would love you guys to check out my facebook page little knowledge dream by noella please like leave comments and share as well i am so happy to be here because you all made me to be here i thank all my um, current subscribers and I hope to meet more subscriptions and more likes and more comments please guys make sure you leave your your, your messages in the comment section below thank you and see you in my next video bye bye